everyone, so this is going to be another video for my Lush store tips and tricks, I suppose. And today I'm going to talk to you guys about um, face and body products. Now, what I want to throw out there right now is that just because something works for me does not mean it's going to work for anybody else. I have different skin than you do. I have different preferences. Uh, I like different textures. I like different smells. So... Just because I talk about something in this video does not necessarily mean it's going to work for you. These are only the products that I've used and that I like. So I'm going to start with face products. And the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is Ultra Bland. I've done reviews on this stuff already, but I think this is one of the best makeup removers ever. Um, so it comes in a little pot. This is the smaller size one. I also have the larger size one. Um, but one of the best makeup removers. This was an amazing face wash for the winter time because my skin was super, super dry and it's more of an oil. Um, so this was a great, great, great cleanser. This is definitely one of my top two, one of my top items for as far as face stuff goes. I will never, ever, ever be without Ultra Bland because it takes my makeup off. It doesn't burn. It doesn't sting. It doesn't rip my eyelashes out. It's amazing. Ultra Bland is definitely one of my top products. However, if I remember correctly, if you have a nut allergy, don't use this. It does have peanut oil in it, I believe. Um, so that's something you need to keep in mind. Um, and the next thing that I will never, ever, ever be without is my Aroma Water Toner Spray. Now, this particular toner is for dry, sensitive skin, which I definitely have. Um, they have other ones as well. Um, my friend uses Breath of Fresh Air, and she swears by it. She can't live without that stuff either. So, um, definitely their toners are great. They're alcohol-free, which is what I like about them. They don't sting. They don't burn when you put them on your skin. Um, I find that when my skin's really dry, I can't use a toner, um, even though I need to use one because it hurts too bad to put it on. So the Oroma Water um, and their other toners are all great because they're all alcohol free. So I love, 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 love Lush's toners. They are amazing. That's definitely something that I think everybody should invest in is a toner that's good for your skin. So check those out. Another thing that I really think is amazing from Lush is their Mask of Magnum Inti, and I have been told by Seals Associates that this is pretty good for all skin types. So, what this is, and I've only used this a couple times, um, it smells really, really minty. Um, I really do like the smell of it. It's just like a regular green face mask. It's supposed to be really good for getting rid of blackheads. So you just put this on, leave this on your face until it dries, and then take it off in circular motions, and it's supposed to be a really good exfoliant. Um, it's supposed to deep clean your skin. I love Mask of Magnum and Tea. This is definitely something that is on um, my um, need to have list. So I always, always, always will have Mask of Magnum and Tea. Always, always, always. I love this stuff. And then finally the last thing for face products is, um, and this kind of falls into the body products as well, is my Ocean Salt. <coughs> um, looks like this. I didn't mix this one together very well, as you can see. It's kind of blue and white. Um, but I absolutely cannot live without Ocean Salt. I use it as a face exfoliant. I use it every other day combined with my Ultra Bland, which puts that barrier between my face like I've mentioned in another video. I also use this stuff um, about once a week in the shower as well, and it's all over my body. It's a great exfoliant. My dry skin's totally gone. My body glows. I absolutely love Ocean Salt. It's another one of the items that I think is a definite must when it comes to face and body products from Lush. But again, you do need to remember that um, it's all up to personal preference. Some people find this stuff is way too coarse for their skin. Um, I do. That's why I use my Ultra Bland. So um, you just have to keep that in mind and be really careful when using this stuff um, and keep it away from your eyes because that's um, it's really, really sensitive skin. So, when it comes to body products, um, from Lush, I'm talking about stuff like, um, Lemony Flutter Cuticle Cream, which I own but haven't used yet, so I can't give you guys, um, a review on that as of yet. Um, like, Smitten Hand Cream, Handy Guru, um, Dream Cream, Charity Pot, um, Fair Trade Foot Lotion, um, all of that kind of stuff, um, there's really only two things that fall into my must-have category, and the first one is Dream Cream. Now, I think this is one of the best lotions that I've ever used. I put it on, and I don't feel greasy afterwards. Um, I don't like that greasy feeling from a lot of lotions. Um, it's a really, really light smell, so I don't really notice. I can't get it open. 
Um, a little goes a long way with this stuff. I've been using this every day all over my body for the last probably week and a half. And I've hardly used any of it, which is awesome. Um, so this is definitely the Dream Cream is one of my favorites. Um, another great lotion that Lush has is Charity Pot, which I also have. It's upstairs. But um, I'm not as in love with the smell of it. I do find it's a little bit greasy on my hands after I use it. But I love the um, idea behind it because um, they donate money to charities for all the... Um, lotions that are sold so dream cream is a definite and the other one which um my mother actually has at the moment she wanted to try it out is my fair trade foot lotion um it's pink i've done a review on it before um it's amazing i love fair trade foot lotion i think it'd be great for everybody and anybody so that's definitely another thing that i think you guys should check out when it comes to being lush savvy with face and body products ask for samples that's the only thing I can really tell you. Because you don't want to go out and spend $25 on a pot of dream cream and then you absolutely hate it. Lush is great for giving out samples when you're not 100% sure. I have quite a few samples of um, face wa of like different face washes from Lush that I want to try out because like I said the Ultra Blend is a little too heavy for my skin right now. Um, so I'm looking to find a different... Um, face wash, but I'll still be using that as a makeup remover. So always ask for samples, find the stuff that you like the best, and um, find the stuff that works for you. So that's definitely my tips and tricks for when it comes to face products. It's really hard to tell you guys like you should get this or you should get that um, because I don't know what your skin is like. Also, really quickly, just to talk about the fresh face masks, um, I bought BB Seaweed and I really, really liked it, but the only thing is that the fresh face masks only last for three weeks. Um, if you get one that's already a week old, you've only got it for two weeks. I didn't use up the entire product. Um, my friend bought Odafix. She didn't use up the entire product in two weeks. I personally just have decided to stay away from the fresh face masks don't necessarily think that they're the best for me. I love my mask in Magnum Inti, so this is the face mask that I use, and this one um, doesn't expire as fast either. I have to use it up by, in four months. So you get this for four months. Um, it's obviously a little bit more expensive than the fresh, fa fresh face masks, but at least you'll get um, a full usage out of the product before you have to pitch it. So, that's just my take on the face masks. Um, I know a lot of people are probably going to be upset about that, but I just, um, when it comes to being a savvy shopper, I stay away from the face masks because I know I'm not going to use it all and I'm going to end up throwing it out. So Also, when it comes to like the deodorants, um, I've never used a deodorant from Lush before. Um, I like my antiperspirants um, and Lush doesn't do antiperspirants, they only do deodorants, so instead of making helping you stop sweating they only cover up the smell from sweating so I've never used deodorants from Lush so I can't really touch on that and same thing with their dusting powders I have candy fluff dusting powder I think it smells amazing I like it for the glitter effect that's really the only time I use it is when I want that little bit of glitter but I can't really give you guys a really good review or take on that because I've never really dabbled too much into those products there so um, this is going to be the last video on my series. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any other questions, um, feel free to contact me or let me know. Um, and hopefully I answered everybody's questions. If you have any other questions, um, please feel free to ask. Just remember and keep in mind that I am not a Lush expert. I am just in love with their products. Um, I know a little bit about them just from talking to sales associates and going online and looking at their website and um, chatting with people on the Lush forum that they have on the website there. So um, just remember that, um, keep that in mind, and I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini series of videos. If you have any other questions, you know how to get a hold of me, and thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate all the support, and I will talk to you all very, very soon. Bye!